It is estimated that over 99% of all organisms to have ever existed have gone extinct. Billions of species which once called our planet home are now gone, possibly forever. However, some extinct species aren't declared extinct. In many cases, sometimes with solid reasoning, authorities give incredibly rare or missing species the label of critically endangered, usually fitting them into one of two categories, functional extinction or possible extinction. Both of these terms can help give an idea of just how rare some animals are. Today, I want to discuss the definition of possibly and functionally extinct species, along with listing some examples of species that fall into these categories. Firstly, what does extinction really mean? There is a definition given by the IUCN, which categorizes the conservation status of many species globally. According to them, a species is extinct when there is no reasonable doubt that the last individual has died. Once researchers have searched every corner of a species' habitat and found no evidence of living individuals, it can be declared extinct. The term possibly extinct refers to organisms officially listed as either critically endangered or dated efficient. These organisms are sometimes referred to as lost species, particularly when they haven't had a confirmed sighting for a decade. To be clear, even though they are officially listed as critically endangered, it implies that a species is likely gone forever. However, with these species, there can be some doubt as to when this species went extinct or if it is still extant. After all, for these species to be listed as extinct, they would need to have all of their viable remaining habitats surveyed, and all searchers would have to find zero conclusive evidence. All eyewitness accounts beyond a certain point would need to be discredited as being hoaxes or misidentifications. Some of these animals may still be out there, undetected in the most remote wilderness areas in their geographical distribution. A well-known example of a possibly extinct species is the ivory-billed woodpecker, being one of the largest woodpeckers of all time. These birds lived across the southeastern United States, from as far north as southern Illinois to as far west as eastern Texas. This bird hasn't been sighted since 1944, over 80 years ago. However, unofficial reports and rumoured camera trap images have claimed to have sighted living birds. The IUCN has listed the bird as critically endangered and possibly extinct, citing numerous proposed sightings as possible evidence of this bird's continued, albeit weakening, presence. A slightly more obscure animal that is possibly extinct would be the cuprae, which is a very large species of wild bovid which inhabits or at least inhabited the jungles and woodlands of southeastern Asia. In the nations of Laos, Cambodia, Thailand, and Vietnam, they were always rare, likely never having a population of over 2,000 animals. However, conflict in the areas they lived in, including the Cambodian Civil War, led to citizens and hunters shooting these animals to feed themselves in these times of hardship. The last official sighting of a cuprae was in 1969, and the last reported sighting of a small herd crossing the Cambodian-Thailand border was in 1988. Since the 90s, there haven't been any credible or reported evidence of this animal. If it is still alive, its population is under 50, with a decreasing population trend and virtually zero hope for recovery. Another species believed to be extinct but hasn't had its habitat completely surveyed yet is the Baiji or Yangtze River dolphin. This cetacean, once native to the Yangtze River in China, was well known among the local people. 
Unfortunately, damming, overfishing, and an incredible amount of pollution has left this species with very little viable habitat remaining. The last captive individual died in 2002. His name was Chi Chi. He had been living in the Wuhan Institute of Hydrobiology since 1980, before eventually passing away. Four years later, in 2006, the Baiji was declared functionally extinct, which brings us to our other category of incredibly rare, almost extinct animals. Functionally extinct species such as the Baiji are more clearly defined in terms of classification compared to possibly extinct species. Though the definition of functionally extinct varies from source to source, the general consensus is that a functionally extinct species is reduced to incredibly low numbers. So much so that it no longer plays a significant role in its ecosystem, so that when it eventually dies out, the ecosystem doesn't change due to its lack of ecological presence. So to determine if a species is functionally extinct, you can measure its impact on the ecosystem and see if it's still filling an ecological niche. Fortunately, or unfortunately, depending on your perspective, not all functionally extinct species are missing or possibly extinct like the Baiji. In some instances, such as with the northern white rhinoceros, we can still have living specimens. However, they do not play a role in their ecosystem's function. For context, the northern white rhinoceros, a subspecies related to the far more common southern white rhino, once roamed across Sudan, Chad, the DRC, and Central African Republic. However, severe poaching in the early 1990s through to 2003 reduced their wild population significantly, leaving them as possibly extinct in the wild. Then, in 2008, with just four living individuals confirmed to still be alive, the species was declared functionally extinct. Famously, or rather infamously, there are only two individuals left, both being females, Najin and Fatu, neither of whom can produce fertile offspring or carry a pregnancy. Without human interventions such as cloning and gene editing, this species is doomed to extinction and the natural lineage of non-cloned individuals will end with one of the two remaining females. Another slightly less popular example of a functionally extinct species is the Raphidus, the Yangtze softshell turtle. This turtle lived alongside the Baiji in the Yangtze River, but pollution and overhunting for its meat led to these turtles experiencing a sharp decline in population. The last known female of this species died in mid-2023, and there was only two males left. The captive male lives in a zoo in China, and the wild male lives in Vietnam in a lake. The captive male is incapable of reproduction and it's unknown if the wild male is either. There are countless more examples of functionally extinct species, but these are just a few of the rarest individual species and subspecies that face extinction in the near future. To conclude this depressing look at several categories of rare animals, our Earth and its biodiversity are incredibly fragile. If we want to protect the Earth's remaining species, we need to eliminate political distractions such as international or civil wars. We need to make charges for environmental destruction, ecocide, more substantial and appropriate. We need to make sure those who drive species to extinction, whether it be possibly, functionally or fully, are given serious consequences.